Well, hey, glad you made it to Storytime with Andy today. I'm so excited about this book. I don't know if you can tell from my big eyes. Um, it's called When I Draw a Panda, and it's all about this little girl right here, and she loves to draw, just like I do. Uh, this is her little panda buddy that she draws. And in the book, you kind of see, she talks about when she draws, it's not perfect. Um, and you know what? That's the fun of drawing, right? You don't draw because you want to draw something perfectly. You draw because it's fun. You draw because it helps you be creative. You draw because it helps you get some feelings out. You draw because it brings you joy. And so that's why we draw at Storytime with Andy. I'm always saying to you guys when we're drawing um, that it's just for fun. It's not meant to be perfect. So this book is like perfect for story time with Andy. I'm so happy. So we're going to read this today. Like I said, uh, we're always going to draw afterwards. So get your crayon and your paper ready. And before we do, I want to say a special hello to Skylar and Emery W in Leland, North Carolina. I hope you guys like this book and I hope you have fun drawing with us afterwards. Okay. All right. We are going to get ready to read When I Draw a Panda. Let's go. When I Draw a Panda by Amy June Bates. I love to draw. Sometimes when they say to draw a perfect circle, mine turns out a little wonky. I can draw a perfect fluffy cloud, a perfect scoop of ice cream, and a perfect flat tire. So when I draw a panda, I keep drawing more and more not perfect circles until I see a panda. Then I step back and think, Hmm, what else does a panda need? He probably needs a hat, and then he's my panda. And my panda draws his own way. When someone tells him to draw a castle the right way, he would rather draw it the left way. And if they tell him to draw something pretty, he draws something pretty silly. My panda shows me how to draw a dragon. Step one, draw a squiggle. Step two, decide which end is the head and which end is the tail. And step three, draw the tail last. Sometimes when they say to draw a perfect pirate, superhero, crocodile, mad scientist, or princess, my panda prefers to draw an imperfect, super heroic, madly scientific, piratical princess crocodile. Sometimes when they say to draw a perfect bowl of fruit, my panda looks out the window and watches a butterfly. And then he thinks about what it would be like to be a butterfly until he's totally forgotten what he was supposed to be drawing. I can draw my own way too. Sometimes when they say to draw it this way, I ask, why? And when they say, draw it that way, I do, but I add a unicorn horn later, ha. Sometimes they say, that will never work, but it does. Sometimes they say, make sure you don't run out of space, but I didn't, so I do. Sometimes they can't figure out what we've drawn and then it's a mystery because we'll never tell them. Sometimes they say, you and your panda draw too crazy. And I say, thank you. Sometimes we're supposed to draw quietly, but we can't help it. Our pencils like to roar. Sometimes lines come out of our pencils and they are not going anywhere in particular. They're just going somewhere that makes us happy. The end. Man, if this wasn't a book perfect for story time with Andy, I don't know what is. All right, we are going to draw from When I Draw a Panda. We're gonna draw this picture of him right here. I love how he's just kind of standing on one leg, almost looking like he's gonna toddle right over. He's got a unicorn horn because, hey, why not add a unicorn horn to everything like lions and whales and that kind of thing? Um, all right, so we are going to draw our panda buddy right here. Let's do it. So first, we're gonna draw this magnificent unicorn horn, okay? No big deal. Let's get that drawn. So 
we're gonna come, I don't know, top left corner of your page. And you guys know how to draw a horn, right? Kind of draw a little tiny curve right there. Go up as tall as you want it to go. Come on back down, okay? You can kind of add some like spirals to make it feel like a horn looks, okay? There you go, there is your horn. Now we're gonna get to this big floofy body, all right? First we're gonna do his head, all right? So you're gonna draw a straight line out that way and a straight line out that way. That is the top of his head. Next we're gonna draw these big old ears. So it's basically just a circle there, okay? Circle right there, easy, you got this. Line down like that, line down like that on the other side, okay? Now, we're gonna connect these two lines together in one kind of big curve, you ready? Let's do it. Big curve, connected, and there is his face, okay? We're gonna draw his eyes, which are kind of like a weird shape. They're kind of like this, um, and then like that. And then we're gonna draw his nose. So you draw a straight line, very much like a triangle, okay? There's his face. Now let's draw his body. So we're gonna go from this line where his head is and we're gonna keep going down to his arm, okay? So go, 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 start to curve in and stop. Now, he's holding a hat in this picture, but I'm not gonna draw that. I'm just gonna draw his little bear claws, okay? And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do the same thing. This is so easy. Keep coming down and curve in. And this time we're gonna go up to like right there, okay? But you can go up to right here too. I don't know why I stopped there. There you go, all right, there's his arms. Now we're gonna draw a curved line from here to here, but we're gonna curve it up, okay? You ready? Just barely a curve up, just like that. That's starting to be his belly. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna finish his belly. So you're gonna start right about here. Do a curve down. Right at the same spot, do a curve down here. There's his belly, all right? Our panda is coming together. So cute already. And then we're gonna draw these legs. They're kind of like very short and squat. So um, you can see, just kind of start right up here. Dip out a little bit and then come on in and join up there, okay? Draw a little line over there. We're gonna do one, this leg is up in the air, okay? So just kinda draw it like that and it's not touching the ground like the other one is. In fact, let's go ahead and draw the ground that he's standing on. You can draw a line just like that. Now we can see he is standing on one leg looking amazing. Oh, and I forgot. He has his crayon in his hand over here, so we can draw that. Okay, good job. All right, now for the fun part. I'm gonna color in all of this black so it looks more like a panda and less like a weird bear, okay? You guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, that was fast. Now he looks much more like a panda, right? He's got this big fluffy white belly. He's got that dark fur around his eyes, looking so cute, love it. Oh, and we need to draw the title of this book, right? When I Draw a Panda. So here we go. W, H, E, N, I, D, R, A, W, when I draw a panda, P-A-N-D-A. -A. Nice job. Yes, okay, I love that book so much. Um, I love how she approaches drawing. She just kind of like scribbles something, turns it into something fun, and you guys, that's what drawing's all about, right? It's just about having fun. It's about using drawing to um, just get creative, to try new things, and so I'm always so glad you guys draw along with us at the end. I'd love to see your drawings. Show me your panda that you drew today, or you can show me any of the other drawings from our other videos. So you can have your parents upload it to our Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see it. 
perfect or not, I don't care. There is no such thing as perfect, okay? I wanna see all your imperfect drawings. That's the fun part. So thank you guys for tuning in today. And as always, stay well and keep reading. Bye.